All right, well, my name is Delon. I'm currently an art director for VMLYNR Commerce, um, working on like cool candy brands and things like that. And my presentation is about finding your own path as a designer in black creative. Growing up, I always knew I wanted to be an artist of some sort. Um, I always could draw. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I always could draw and I learned a lot from studying the art and comic books. Like that was my thing and trying to copy and emulate that. Um, along the way, I found advertising and fell in love and thought that would be a cool career. And so I went to the University of North Texas, um, studied advertising. Uh, my first graphic design class, the teacher said we could do anything we wanted, a poster for anything. And I had this cool idea for Frida Kahlo. And he said, um, there's a lot of cool Frida Kahlo's out there and we don't need a shitty one done by you. And <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. I don't know if he didn't like me, but I wasn't ready for all the hateration and that dancery. So I took a page from Michael Jordan's book and I took it personally. And I went ahead and made it anyway. So this was my first foray into making like digital art. And this was a, a statement to myself, proving myself that, you know, I can do this, go for it and just keep working. And no matter what, just if you have a vision, do it. Um, fast forward, I went to the Creative Circus Portfolio School, studied art direction. Um, I got pretty good. It was great at um, showing me to experiment and think outside the box and while I was there, I learned a lot of like techniques and things I would like to make. Like I'm very influenced by pop culture and music and I like making cover art and um, albums. I like uh, character design. I like doing motion graphics and animation. Anything I can get my hand on, I kind of did it all. And the faculty and I kind of got into it over that actually. And then that's, oh yeah. And they got into it with me because I added designer to my art direction title. And they were like, you can't do that because you're not in the program, but I'm very multifaceted and I can do it all. Then the summer of 2020 happened. Uh, so many uh, protests and riots and killings. It was, I was very sad, discouraged, angry, and I felt helpless as a creative. And the professors at the school didn't help because at the beginning of each class, they would say like, oh, black students or people of color, do you have something you wanna say to the class? And the students and I, we would look at each other because all we wanted to really was to just be left alone. And honestly, the thing that helped me escape was diving back into uh, music. Music helps me cope with everything. And luckily that summer, um, Beyonce came out with Black is King. It made me feel, visually, it was so like stunning to me. I loved the Afrofuturism and it brought like a resurgence of Black pride within me and inspired me to create again. Uh, <laughs> this is a gift I made. I just loved it so much. <laughs> but the faculty and I also, um, I was, I ultimately, I didn't graduate because I was also into, other than, instead of advertising, I also did so much design work and they felt like it didn't fit the mold of what they thought an art, art director should be. So I also made a card game called Flaws and All to help with black mental health. And it's like a self-guided tour of introspection and identifying your feelings. It also comes with a journal, like, and all of that. And they said, I don't know, this is cool, but I don't think it helps. And so like after graduating, I was very much over it, but luckily these passion projects are what got me noticed by recruiters and art, not art directors, creative directors everywhere. And I got hired. Um, I would like to shout out Kenny Thacker, created 100 Roses from Concrete. It's a virtual agency students can join and you get real life experience on nonprofit clients. Um, 
One School uh, by Oriel David Lyons uh, is basically for Black creatives and it's free, Portfolio School. And I love seeing Black creatives, them bringing up the new generation because they need us. This is called Coffee. It's basically a database for um, multicultural people of color who are designers or creatives in general, because apparently black talent is so hard to find, so hard. <laughs> so um, yeah, I just wanna say your story matters, your skills matter, and yeah, thank you for having me. <laughs>